right, good afternoon, guys. We are in Aquas Calientes now. This is the small little town right outside Machu Picchu. It's like the jumping off point. This is where you come to stay if you go in there. And the interesting thing is this town is built in a valley, a very, very narrow valley. So all the buildings, as you can see, go straight up. It could be like 10 stories high if you want. And uh, sorry, brother, we ate already. Thank you. <laughs> So yeah, the whole town is built in an upwards direction, which is pretty cool. You can see even up in all these valleys here, it's just all up, up, up. So right now we are going to go to the Alchemides waterfall and we're going to go check out the main square. And then from there, yeah, I said that name wrong. I'll say it right later. I promise I'll practice. And then from there, after the main square, maybe we're going to check out a giant market we heard about. So that's our adventure for today in Aquas Calientes. <laughs> all right, brother. <laughs> Yeah. I think we're going left here. All right, let's go left here. <laughs> Hola. Happy <laughs> birthday. Are you going to Cusco? We we got back today. Alcamayo. Uh, we're gonna go to the Cascades Alcamayo. Cascades Alcamayo, yes. Yes. It, or here. Uh, uh, and then left. Yes. 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 Is this this stadium? Yes. Here. Okay. All right. That's good. Thank yes. you. Muchas gracias. Bye bye. Muchas gracias. Enjoy. Yeah. Thank you. All right, definitely a very friendly town. We've been having such a good time here. And we went in for lunch. I don't know if you guys might have seen it in the last video. We had lunch and it's her birthday, so they brought her a little cake and the little kid was so much fun. He came out and whooped our asses at chess. Unbelievable, this kid was six years old and I'm pretty good at chess. And this kid beat me four games in a row like nothing. I said, how long have you been playing? He said, four years. I don't know if he's actually playing four years or not, since but you know how. Or oh, maybe he meant since he was four. Years. Okay, yeah. so two years. But still, the kid was a savant. You know how some people, this kid was like amazing at chess. It was unbelievable. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna come up here and make a few turns and find the waterfall and enjoy the afternoon. Oh, we have been loving the vibe of this little town between Cusco and here. We haven't been able to get enough. Hey, Muggsy. <laughs> oh, there's one over there, too. You got a tree? With his bone oh. <laughs> they are stray dogs. Well, they're not strays, actually. They're, they're owned by people, and they just let them run free around the town. But they are everywhere. I mean, you can't go a block without seeing a few of them. It's so funny. Our tour guide said you don't have to watch out for red lights or anything like that while you're here in Office County. Watch out for landmines, dog poop. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, they're pretty look good. Look, they're cleaning and everything. I yeah. mean, they keep up with it. Oh, yeah, just like Cusco, we've noticed that no matter how old the town might look, it is in pristine condition. They clean like every morning, they come out and clean. Oh, look at the soccer fields. All right, so we made it to the entrance to the trail and it's just at the end of a road with this unassuming little sign right here, Al Camayo. So from here they say it's 20 minutes down this trail. Up we go. Oh, jeez. Look at that valley. Oh, you know what? We've been to mountains all over the world. The Fjordlands in New Zealand and into the Dolomites in Italy. We've been to Swiss, uh, Switzerland. I think these are the best valleys I've ever seen. The valley here is just looking up at these mountains. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at this cliff. Oh, I ain't wiping out on this. These are slippery. Okay, 
Reminded me of that time in Sri Lanka where we got turned around by the dogs yeah. and we couldn't get to the waterfall. Sometimes the dogs are, uh, These guys are just being dum-dums. Alright, so we were hiking through the woods for a good, I don't know, about 15 minutes so far. And then, check this out, all of a sudden, this just appears. And this is where those dogs just ran off to. Here's one of them. Look at this. Oh, backyard ideas are coming up right here. Wow, this is like the ultimate um, man cave. Oh, yeah, rooms. yeah. Like, this is somebody's own personal time. Just <laughs> spent hours doing that. That's awesome. Oh, this is such a cool backyard. Oh, look, it's like a little. Hola, buen día. Hola. Está, amigo? Is this the waterfall? Sí. Hay dos, uno y dos, y el ticket es 20 soles para visitar. For a person? Sí, señor. Es por aquí. Ok. Muchas gracias. Listo, bienvenido. Gracias, amigo. I love it. Okay. All right, so I guess we're about 20 minutes in. Five minutes past the gate where we just paid. And we come into our first waterfall. Peru for the win. All right, waterfall number two. This is only a five minute walk from number one. And it goes way up there, Ooh, yeah. as far as we can see. All the way up to them thunderstorm clouds that are coming in. Dum, dum, dum. <laughs> All right, guys, we're a little sweaty because it's humid, but no sun, so it's pretty decent. Not too bad. God, I just can't get over these peaks, how beautiful they are. I love the valley. So I think we're gonna head back down now and either look for the main square or the market. One of the two, see which one we come up with first. So the nature here in Peru is far exceeded even what I was expecting. And I knew we were coming here for rainforest, jungles and this and that. And this is just so much better than I expected. We've been so blessed. And think about it, Sri Lanka was not too long ago and that was totally blew our minds. We fell in love with Sri Lanka. I think that was the last time we were in a big nature country. I mean, other than Thailand. Brunei, that wasn't really nature. Although we did go down that river and see the proboscis monkeys and all that. And then, oh, Korea. <laughs> Yeah, we did the city hop in there. We didn't really get to see too much of nature there. But boy, this one in Sri Lanka, both of them exceed our expectations. Totally different, of course, but... Well, you said the weather's been perfect. Yeah, we've really gotten lucky with the weather here. It's been amazing. And Sri Lanka, look out, we're coming for you. We're in that tournament now, it's official, so... We're coming, Sri Lanka, we'll be back October. Look out. We gotta try to make up some decorations for our tuk-tuks. If anybody's got any ideas, let us know how we should dress up our tuk-tuk for the race. <laughs> I don't know if this is the main market. It looks like it. Yeah, I think this is the market. Is that four? We need two more? Yeah. Alright guys, you see the postcards. If you want one, leave a comment down below and let us know. Okay. Six postcards. 
Now I gotta find, oh they got my Lama Sutra shirt. I gotta get it. No, you do. All right, you're gonna have to hold this. Why don't you? Okay. Have, I thought you had it. I don't have that much. Oh, see that? What are we over? I like ten? the shirt. It says, "Yeah, it says Llama." Okay. Is this ten? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Gracias. Gracias. No, thank you. I already have one. So guys, seems like all the shops are the same. <laughs> all of these shops are selling the same thing, either jewelry, souvenirs, or t-shirts. I do like the Peru soccer shirt, the home team, but I figured since I wasn't from here, I would get the visitor shirt, the away team shirt. And I do like the black one, but I do like the white one. Now I'm having second thoughts, like I should get a white one. But I'm heading to Panama, so we'll get one there from that country. I think I'm up to five now. I've got Guatemala, right? Sri Lanka. Oh no, Sri Lanka's a cricket shirt. Oh, that's right. Oh, that was cricket, yeah. All right, my collection's in the beginning stages, guys. So if you want to send me a shirt from your country, I'd be more than happy to have it. The Lamidals. Instead of the Beatles, the Lamidals. <laughs> they love their llamas. 1531. What are they doing with that sheep? Oh, I don't want to know what they're doing with the sheep on it. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to shut the camera off for a minute and walk around here and see if there's anything interesting. So this market goes on and on and on. And it's just the same things over and over and over. <laughs> Some things are a little bit nicer quality. Yeah, but the thing is, it's right next door to the train station, the only train station and the only way in and out of Aquas Caliente. So no matter what, you have to come near here, <laughs> so they're going to get you. So it's definitely just a big tourist thing, but it's pretty cool. And we needed souvenirs, so they do bargain here a little bit. So we got our souvenirs. We got some postcards for you guys. And... Oh, right here. Oh, distracted by snacks. That is the one thing this market is missing, is a little food section. <laughs> Alright, let's figure out how to get out of here and we'll find that main plaza to check out now. This is how you know you made it to the market when you meet the conqueror. At the hoopah. All right, I'm gonna pull over to the other side. Well, that was a fun little market, but I gotta say, they gotta step up their snack game. There was no food section in there. Not even like souvenir snacks. So how many globe hopper stars can we give them for that? We gotta deduct one star for the snacks missing. One globe off of the five globe rating system. But the people were friendly, so I'll give them back their globe. See how easy we are? <laughs> Down to the river we go. It's a little bit of a hike though. Ooh. Not bad. You smell that? Oh, it smells good. Something smells delicious, it's people. It smells like uh, carne empanadas. It's on the other side. It's been like two hours since we ate. It's torture. Oh, look at these little street pups. Look at this lot. So that, with all the people taking pictures, was the nicer of the two Machu Picchu signs, but too many people walking in and out of there. 
All right, so we found another sign. You're okay, you're okay. We found another sign. Machu Picchu Pueblo. This one's cool because it's right by the river. And this amazingly beautiful valley. So this is it guys. Short video for you today. We checked out a waterfall. We checked out a market. Checked out a little few little squares like this and just took us on a little walk through Aquas Calientes. Really loved it. I'm glad we spent the extra day here and we got to check out this little town. And we still got a lot to do. We're gonna head out, like I said, we're gonna go to dinner and we're just gonna have a birthday evening tonight. Me and my baby. I'll show them the So we'll give you yeah, we'll give you a little few little but we're not really gonna vlog from there because we want to enjoy our time together. But we'll put a little bit in there for you so you can see what it's like because if you do come here you're gonna wanna check them out I'm sure it's what this place is known for it's right in the name so anyhow thanks for the support thanks for watching if you're still here at the end of this video we love you give us a thumbs up don't go anywhere guys because we're heading back to Lima now we got a couple of days there and then we're heading to country number 50 like I said we're gonna do a live stream from there well actually by the time you see this the live stream will probably be over but Anyway, we're about to hit country number 50. If you think you know what it is, put it in the comments. If you're right, I'll send you a postcard. But we're really excited. We're halfway to the 100 Country Club. <laughs> that won't work out. Huh? That wouldn't work out, would it? What? If they guess now and the, our live stream comes out already. Oh, oh boy. Bummer. All right, either way, either leave me a comment. comment. <laughs> Anything. Comment. Leave us a comment. We'll send you a postcard. Because we can't figure out when we're putting this all up on the internet yet. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. We appreciate you. And we'll see you in Lima, all right? Take care.